Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here and welcome to another episode of Aaron's Art Tips. Today, so I want to give you a special episode of Aaron's Art Tips. Um, I have my friend Ronnie Williford uh, here visiting me for a week, and we just got back from doing a great lecture up at Full Sail University yeah, right. uh, to the students up there. And we kind of gave a lecture on our our kind of vast career. We realized that if you add up his lifetime in the in the industry and my lifetime in the industry, we kind of talked about or it, actually doing art, not just the industry. We kind of mm -hmm. talked about a hundred years worth of. Yeah. stuff. Between the two of us, that's certainly true. Yeah, and so I thought it would be really great to kind of take this opportunity uh, with an incredible artist who I have a lot of admiration for. Ronnie and I have known each other for almost 20 years. Um, and I thought, you know what, I really want to kind of spread some of his knowledge out to all of you across the world. And um, so here we are. So, um, Ronnie, uh, you know, we've been talking about giving different advice and things like that, and, and uh, actually earlier you were telling me this story about kind of drawing and, and kind of what it is to, to be a great artist and, and having drawing as that foundation. So I wonder if you could kind of cover that again. Well, yeah. Um, uh, and I've seen people work in a lot of different mediums, and I've had an opportunity uh, in my life to work in a lot of different mediums. Um, some of them you wouldn't even think about as being applicable artistically. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the, the thing that we were discussing was how uh, the one element that made working in all of those different uh, mediums possible... Sculpture, drawing, I mean sculpture, painting, animation, uh -huh. all of it. That's yeah. exactly correct. It's the skill, the ability to draw. Right. Um, one's ability to draw and interpret their environment in two dimension and explore their environment in two dimension is the most important element in uh, being able to jump from medium to medium. Whether you are building sand sculptures on the beach, right. whether you're, um, uh, whether you are making culinary presentations <laughs> to, you know, yeah. uh, one's ability to draw uh, makes it possible to compose and, and communicate to kind with of take the yes take the world around you and interpret it and have mm -hmm. it go through your hands and then onto a right. onto a piece right. of paper. You had a really cool analogy about someone trying to diet and find that secret way to lose weight and yeah. comparing it to art. I thought that was really good. Uh, people are always looking for a a easy way to lose weight. People are always uh, they're going to take a pill or they're going to wear this kind of vibro belt right. or they're going <laughs> to. Um, you know they're gonna they're 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 uh, and don't think Madison Avenue doesn't know that um, uh, they can use this to their advantage to suck your money out. Right. And kind of if the there's really only one way to lose weight, and that's to take in less calories and exercise. That's kind of it. You got to work hard. Really, you basically it gotta takes work, work hard. Yeah. And it's pain in the ass, and it's not fun. You gotta you really gotta. You know, you got to you know, you do it even when you don't want to, in order to attain the result that you want. And uh, this is the case, truly, uh, in uh, in art. Yeah. I believe that one must draw, and and be good at drawing, or at least be competent at drawing, and understand how to use it, in order to move on to other mediums, even. Uh, and, and this kind of comes from our lecture at Full Sail, and you know we were critiquing some some of the uh, some of the work of the of the senior students, and and uh, uh, and man, even for three D work uh, in animation, one's ability to draw is everything. Uh, I agree. I mean, and we know that there's a lot of animators out there, especially currently, that work in three D that don't draw. But I have found that the even if you don't draw, if you, the, the act of going out and observing and, and recording it, even recording it badly, 
disciplines your brain in a way to see differently and to observe the world and to take in the world and learning how to and learn to how to interpret it even if you're just interpreting it through manipulating models and you don't necessarily draw dr the act of drawing um, really helps a lot but if you want to be a great painter and that sort of thing and, and just to elaborate on what Ronnie was saying I find that you know there's and I'm sure you've seen it, especially now, especially in the digital world where there's not a lot of uh, younger people out there working traditionally, uh, or as many working traditionally, and they want that secret. What's that secret brush you use to make that painting so good? Or what's that yeah. secret uh, function that you do in yeah. Photoshop to make that painting look so cool? Yeah. What is that pen? That's, the, that pen? that's yeah. the frosting. There is no secret. The secret is exactly what Ronnie was talking about. It's like you know having to lose that weight and, and work really hard at the diet. Well, the diet is drawing. You've got to work really hard <laughs> at drawing to create those, those images. And when you have those extra tools, that frosting is, is mm -hmm. how I look at it, it can make the drawing sing even more. But it, it needs that foundation. And it's not, even, it's not even a matter of constantly cranking out awesome drawings. Like, it's not that you don't need to necessarily be coming up with great work right. drawing. It's, it's your time for, think of it like losing weight, it's your time for calisthenics. It's the, you know, the, the drawing is like your the exercise, your exercise yeah. and uh, the, the great American masterpiece is not the goal. You know, the goal is to continue uh, developing that muscle memory and continue developing uh, sort of a, a mental process uh, that will help you engineer uh, other mediums, right? And and manipulate other mediums. Even you know, we we work in a visual medium, whether it's film, uh, painting, uh, whatever. And imagery is our language, and so the 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 more adept you are at conveying things um, from an image standpoint, the better off you are. One example I like is, um, you know, I I really love the fact I was looking at. Uh, I was reading a thing on Sp Steven Spielberg and how he creates his films. Oh. Steven Spielberg would flunk out of art stool in school in a, in a second, but I love all the little storyboards he sketches sketches out for, for the people on the set. They're primitive drawings, but he's drawing and he's uh, picturing it in his head and he's, he's conveying something visually so he doesn't have to try to explain. So I think this applies to photographers, filmmakers, animators, painters, anything. And, uh, and yeah, it's, I totally it's a strong agree. piece of advice. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. So another thing that I'd like to elaborate on uh, that I think goes hand in hand with what we're talking about being disciplined and, and working hard um, is this idea, and this is something that the instructors at Full Sail kind of clapped for, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. is, you know, when, you're, when you are drawing a lot and you're getting out, you're getting out and you're experiencing life a little bit. And I was wondering if you wanted to expand on on that idea. Yeah. Especially for the young people that are watching this, how important well, that is, living life. Yeah, absolutely true. Um, uh, I, I guess I, uh, I want to stress that drawing is good no matter how you get it done. If you're, you know, if you're, if you're doing it, if you're pulling up images on Google Images or if you're, or if you're drawing from photos or whatever you've got, as long as the pencil is touching the paper, you're getting better. As long as there's, as long as you're rubbing the graphite into the paper, you're improving. But um, uh, there is nothing like the experience of getting out and uh, applying your drawing from life. Uh, right. Uh, even just getting out and living your life. Uh, uh, I guess we, you know, we see a lot of people uh, that never really raise their head up from from their Cintiq or from their phone even. Right. Uh, there's people that never ever get out and experience life and it's really, I, really I've, hard. I've, I've fallen victim to that too with the phone and all well, that. And you know, by nature of the world that we live in right now, mm -hmm. uh, we're a little consigned to it and uh, just like losing weight, <laughs> you have to apply a certain amount of, of conscious effort. And, right. Um, and one of the things that I think has a really profound effect on my work personally is that um, 
whatever environment I find myself in finds its way into my work. So I spend a lot of time looking for new environments and just new experiences, you know. Um, yeah. I, I just want to interrupt. I just want to tell everybody out there, because I don't know if, how comfortable you are just jumping into this, but I, you know, I've known Ronnie for 20 years, and he's, more than anybody else that I know, you've kind of done everything. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, he's an incredible musician, an incredible painter, an incredible photographer, an incredible printmaker, an incredible sculptor. I mean, all the, the people you've touched yes. and, the, and the work you've, you've created. And, it's, and it goes hand in hand with what it is that you're talking about. And mm -hmm. you would think a guy like that would have a really hard time in a fight, you know, getting away from to the traditional work. But you've really embraced, you know, working in Flash and working with digital technology and that sort mm -hmm. of thing, too. And, and you've been able to kind of bend with the times and the technology and that sort of thing and it's it's really cool to see what you've done well uh, uh, <laughs> the ability to do that the ability to be flexible um, kind of so comes back to drawing you know it comes back to your ability to draw and right. I've, I've been able to apply that to a lot of different um, a lot of different uh, jobs let's say um, uh, you know I love being an artist an artist is kind of something I am, but sometimes you got to do jobs for money. Sometimes you need to pay your car insurance. Yeah. And, and there are periods of time where your art isn't paying off. So, uh, uh, like for instance, when I was a student, I was working in an art castings foundry. And, uh, and we were casting bronze sculpture. I was working on my brother's bronze sculpture, and we were casting bronze. And my ability to draw made it possible to use I could use high speed grinders and and take out welds and and uh, and sprue bar marks and and put my brother's finesse back in the work. You're saying his fingerprints right back in the I can work. I can put his fingerprints back <laughs> in the work because yeah. because w with your ability to draw you you know I can use any tool. I can I can I can use a grinder um, I worked as a cake decorator for two years. <laughs> because um, you could draw. I made cakes. I made, <laughs> and um, now my pencil is this is this decorator bag. <laughs> right. Um, but uh, uh, my cakes are really popular because um, <laughs> I could draw. And and uh, that's great. Um, I've uh, I've had a lot of jobs, and and um, I've done uh, I've done furniture restoration. Uh, um, uh, I, more stuff should be coming to me. I just, That's you know, cool. <laughs> there are things that, you know, no, it seems like no matter what job I've ever had, it's been my ability to draw that has made it possible to. Right. And and it's not something that where I was touched with a magic wand and I all, you know, I've got this awesome drawing talent. Right. Um, I'm not a prodigy. I've never been a prodigy and I've had to work really hard to stay up. Uh, and I, I do a lot of bad work, too, and I just don't show that to anybody. Well, it's the diet. It's the hard work. It's the, mm -hmm. You push through it, and, and if yeah. you get one out of ten, that's great. So Yeah, it's absolutely true. And, and so uh, uh, it's funny how anything that I've ever done, anything I've ever worked on, um, that has been the skill that I've fallen back on. Right. And uh, um, I think of it as being elemental to anything you want to produce artistically. Right. Uh, and when I say artistically, I'm I'm spanning a wide Whether you're a cake path. decorator or a sculptor or yeah. a painter or... Yeah, I agree. Absolutely true. Um, I agree. And uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know that it's uh, necessary for every job, but I'm just, I'm just saying having that skill has had the most profound effect on my art. As an image maker. Yeah. Yeah. And I still fall back on drawing um, when I'm failing really badly mm -hmm. back up start with drawing go back to drawing and uh, it's it's more than just a tool that you use to um, to produce your work it's it uh, is a method for exploring your world it is and uh, and you have to get out in your world and really explore it <laughs> um, well that's good I think that's a good place to stop so oh, good. Um, once again, thank you, Ronnie, for doing this. My uh, pleasure. Hopefully, we can do this again. Well, maybe, yeah. well, maybe we'll do it over in Austin, Texas, which is where Ronnie lives, and we'll do I'd it from your that. studio. I'd love to have you in my studio. Yeah. And um, 
but go out and draw. Go out and experience life. Whether you're a painter, uh, an animator, a photographer, a sculptor, a cake decorator, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, drawing is a is a is, is a strong foundation and it's a great exercise. It'll make you a better artist, even if you don't draw well. It'll teach you to see and it'll teach you how to kind of take in information around you. So, um, kind of until next week. Uh, I hope you learned something. Thank you, Ronnie, for being here. My pleasure. And I'll talk to you then. Thanks, Thanks a so lot. Much. Bye.